What's up everybody? Uh, I'm filming crap at the truck show here and uh, I ran into this booth right here and it's the best booth out of the whole place. It's called, well, you can say it. It's called Three Fat Truckers. Yeah. That's totally politically correct and I'm right on board with that. <laughs> Look at this. They have a podcast and everything. Yeah. So where y'all do y'all still live? We all live up in northern Indiana is where we're out of. Uh -huh. And we uh, podcast. We're truck drivers. We talk about our ship. We do every day on the road. We talk about the stuff we see. We talk a lot of bad dad jokes. We tell you where every place you can buy a bony sandwich or the biggest steak off every exit of the interstate going down the highway. And not only that, there's a lot of bad dad jokes in there. And we try being politically correct, but we piss everybody off somehow. That's what I like. Yeah. Pissing people off is what we do on the interwebs. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, we've been into this for two hey, years now. So. All right, yeah, you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been into this for two years now, and it's our second truck show out here. That's cool, man. We just sitting down, having companies come up. We share a little bit of their story, give them a little thing, yeah. throw a clip out on YouTube and the interweb for them. And, and uh, we've actually got feedback this year. We actually had a couple come over and said, wow, we tracked it. They wanted to know where they heard their business from yeah. it, from our podcast. Because normally we don't get to hear nothing, you know. Right. Give me a card, Mike. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, they got a cool setup here with all the cameras, all the fancy microphones. And they got the, I like, well, y'all got a, one of those. I got a mixer phones. board, yeah. yeah. One of the, like, man, they, I bet they can make funny noises with those red buttons too, right? Well, those I, like a little I recording. Can, I have not programmed them in. I've been doing it from my phone. He yells me, oh. and that's pretty cool. Pretty poor. He's tech here. You know how tech is. Yeah. They want crisp, clean. <laughs> no, doesn't help. I, that well. one, that one one would be like a fart if it was me. <laughs> there is like, a fart one on there. Yeah, and, I figured and so. And there's a wah wah wah. You know. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you got three fat truckers doing a podcast, there's at least two farts going on in that podcast it has to be <laughs> better record it yeah i got a thing called tales from the truck stop and most of the time it's people blocking fuel islands and you know and all that kind of stuff but you see some crazy stuff at those truck stops i watched a boxing match on fuel island down at i think it was in missouri with the pilot at uh where i stopped and get the horse pork steak sandwiches see what i tell you the double nickel next door that <laughs> pilot seen a little skinny black guy and a little skinny white guy with their work gloves on and they was going at it man i mean not just beating the shit out of each other yeah the one and only bonehead truckers is what we got here the one and only <laughs> well don't call me a bonehead trucker i'm just i'm the media in between i'm the guy that brings it to you that's awesome Some dogs up in here. That guy's like really tall. Look. For a minute there, I thought you were like taller than I am. Oh, I thought you said you you thought I was a dummy. No, I, th well, no, that, I wasn't gonna call not, you a dummy. That's not far off. But hey. As long as you call me fat, because I just learned today that being fat is actually a good thing. It is? So, it hey, is. You're up here, right up here, Alex. Are you calling me fat? Apparently it's a good you're thing. Not, no, you're not fat. You got a little bit of chub right there. What did you have for dinner last night? For what? What did you have for dinner last night? Uh, Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Is it, I, I never had that. Is it fattening? No. No. Well, okay. No, nothing is fattening. In well, moderation but he had a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're standing on that thing and you're now taller than I am. Yes, sir. So, yeah, those are toolboxes. Y'all sell them. So, let me give you the infomercial version. Okay, do, do that. All right. Better be funny because, listen, my, my viewers, I, they ain't about nothing more. So like, hey, you put in some colorful words, they're gonna love you. All right. Well, here we have the Swivel Star Solution product. So we've got a quarter inch top, drawers that open like a door, access the very back, flat bottom, thick steel, so one inch shaft, grease circuit every drawer, so the grease service is a natural barrier, moisture and dust is gone. 
now, right now it's on legs and casters. You push down the casters, roll it to where you're working, and then set it down. Put it back up, and then put it back, put it back against the wall. So we make it in two-in-one workbench. We make mud. Now, Buddy here is 135 pounds. Definitely not a fat guy. <laughs> but yeah, with two fingers, <laughs> you could move the fat guy. <laughs> no, I'm still here. I can hear you. <laughs> Sweet. Weather type box. And then the typical road box. Now I'm gonna let you open that one. Which oh, one? The bottom one. Bottom one. Oh sweet. And those things are heavy. Yeah. But they're not on this. They just slide right out, all smooth. Kind of has like a little magnet or something yep. right there. See? There you go. So if you do that. Yeah, it's not coming. A little force and it just nice and smooth out. Sweet, there you man. go. I'm here at the uh, truck parking dot. Hang on. I'm here at the truck parking club dot com booth, and um, there's a Sasquatch here. Uh, can I ask you a question? And you just do this and this. Do real truckers wear flip flops? 